Where's the go live button? Where? Where's the go live button? On the beat, beat, on the beat, 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 on the beat, 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Office Hours with Sticks Intern. I am your host, Sticks Intern, and this, as always, is my office, and we are here together for another episode of Office Hours today. So yeah, good to have you all here with me. I actually have notes this time on stuff to talk about. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of takeaways from the AMA. I'm in uh, gameplay stuff to discuss. Uh, so I'm going to go through all of those, my opinions on lots of stuff. And then I'm going to play some Boar Hunts and talk to you about how I've been approaching, you know, leveling using the bonus XP from higher level hunts to really get my lower leveled archers up. And when I say lower leveled, I'm no longer talking about like, you know, the... Uh, the super low levels, but I am talking about like your 10s, 11s, and you know, 13s, 14s right there because that is the new standard for lower level. That's right. Get used to it. That's what's happening. So yeah, yeah. Why don't I just, you know, launch right on into it? All right. So we are gathered here today. Sorry, I had that screen up. That was wrong. I meant to show my heroes. But yeah, just wanted to call out some stuff. That was cool this past week on the content game. We had the Bolon AMA with the Meta Goons Discord, which was frankly awesome. It was really good. The whole the whole thing. It was just like the whole time I felt I felt so fucking excited. Um, and and so I think I like really recommend everyone go catch that uh, replay if they haven't. Because it is, Bolon just you know, was nailing it, and it was really clear that the people that he was voice chatting with were very interested in the game itself. So, highly enjoyed the Metagoons one. And yeah, uh, on other notes, I'm eagerly still awaiting for duels to come out so Pink Slip duels can come out. Let me go check the Discord. No, no fresh announcements, so doesn't look like they're coming out today. But it's okay. These things happen, everybody. These things happen. We can't always get what we want, and soon enough we'll be able to do the Pink Slip Duels. Big shout outs to Emerson. Can't wait till we can actually get that going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, this week, the ADFK podcast was excellent. I thought Just Crypto had a really good breakdown of the Hercules decks where we have Jewel as one of the Genesis pools. I'm gonna to try to scroll in here, yeah. Boom, so Jewel, Metis as a pair. And uh, right now the farm rewards are zero. You can hover over this little question mark, but that's because the torch token isn't out. And that is where the, you know, the meaty bulk of any sort of fees is gonna come from. So keep an eye out on the Hercules Discord for them to announce the date of their token uh, generation launch pre-sale, whatever word they use to do it, to keep an eye out for it because that's when these rewards really start to kick into high gear. Welcome to the real sticks. Yes, worm, what in the DFK is this? That is in fact actual sticks in the chat. My employer showing up, making sure I'm getting the job done. Thank you, sir. And also this one is specifically for sticks. Excuse me, if you were in the Alpha pools, I think the call now is to migrate your stuff to the Genesis pools because I noticed that I had been in the Alpha pools and it wasn't showing up here. And yeah, I was still, I had the Alpha pool token, so I unstaked the token. I didn't separate the uh, liquidity like into the two individual tokens. I just took the NFT out of the staking contract and I plugged it into the Genesis pool. So, Sticks, you might want to do that as well. Quick, you know, inform informative shout out there. Anyone who's unfamiliar with the Hercules decks, this is a uh, big dex coming to the Metis chain that is also being uh, funded through the same grants program by which Metis is partnering with DFK. And um, so, you know, you, the strings are connecting. Maybe, uh, you know, that's the it's, connections are good. We're now getting more jewel liquidity in jewel places. Okay, Styx did the Genesis pool thingy. Cool. Good. Thank you for that shout out. Yeah, I'm talking about your ETH Metis. 
Yeah, I migrated mine from the alpha pool to the Genesis pool because I saw that, that was a thing mentioned when I went to look in the Discord a second ago uh, just to see if there was a date yet for the token generation event, and there still is not, as far as I can tell. Yeah, their medium did say, boom, their worm also covers it. That's what I just did. I just did it a few minutes before the stream, actually. Uh, but yeah, big partnership here with Hercules. Really excited about this pool of liquidity. Really excited to see the marketing go into full gear once this farm APR gets turned on and uh, Torch goes live. But big shout outs there to, you know, Metis, Hercules, Ethereum, Vitalik's mom, Vitalik Buterin, Blockchain Trilemma. Um, what other SEO words can I drop there? No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, really excited about that. And back to the good stuff. I mean, I cannot wait to take some of these heroes into battle. Speaking of the sweet ass ADFK stream, I mean, Fex, uh, Tad, whatever he prefers to go by these days, went, had some really good points about, you know, just the prices of weapons and such. So I decided to, you know, even though I've got some good drops, I do have myself a yoked Bockler and two, maybe even three Chargers masks. Uh, didn't have any of the axes yet, so went ahead and got some of those. And very happy about it. You can see my warriors here rocking them. I got Benny. You've heard about Benny. He's not, you know, super great, but he's going to get to level 20 soon, and he's going to be super flammable, if you know what I mean, with, with Kazor here. Kazor, also flammable. So flammable, both of them. So excited about it. Uh, so excited about it. So yeah, really, really happy that, you know, I listened to the ADFK stream and I got, you know, the cojones to go purchase some axe because I wanted axe. Really, really was excited about the axe. Uh, some more content last week. We also have had Bolon and Winston were on the Mythic Squad channel last Thursday, so almost a full week ago, but you know, also still worth checking out. I just gave it another listen this afternoon and it was really good, really nice hearing uh, the debate about everything and everyone's sort of views on the topics of the day with like the hero inflation and all of that jazz and the new dark summoning or not dark summoning, excuse me, the new hero burn mechanic coming out. So we are really, uh, I thought it got me really hyped listening to that episode. I'm not going to lie. Got things really hyped. Uh, I also re-listened to the AMA from last week just before. I mean, not just before, a few hours ago, I took some notes. I took some notes. Uh, one thing I wanted to call out that got me really excited was when Sunbear mentioned that gaming companies in general seem to be warming up to crypto games. It's not like a, an immediate pfft, slam the door anymore. It's not like, okay, you can try to convince me is kind of what I got, got from it. It's not like they're like, oh yeah, we love crypto now, but more like, you know, it's not an immediate hard pass situation so very happy very happy about that uh hmm there was a bunch of other stuff at the ama mobile work is on the roadmap but not prioritized at the moment you know the way beetle dude described it it was kind of like maybe middle-ish out priority which i don't mean to say soon i mean like far with that something he might work on on the side maybe um my experience on the mobile is mostly solid even using metamask except for whenever i want to do anything that involves a hero so if that's leveling up if that's sending if that's even putting equipment or pets on them um or picking them out for a void hunt doing a summon all of that there's a really good chance that i get the white screen of death and uh my phone is just done so so the that that's my general experience on mobile bolon did mention during the ama that you know the holiday on mobile is much better and I will agree, you can do the whole, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What is the word I'm looking for? You can do the whole tilt screen so you get the landscape view using a holiday wallet with a normal browser like uh, Safari or Brave. And I've tried it, it does work very well. I do like it. I, I just need the ability to delegate my power-ups. Really, that's the primary thing holding me back at this point because I have hundreds of heroes on power-ups. And just the effort of picking out the ones that I'd want to put on this separate wallet to, you know, to play, be able to have on my phone. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's too much for planning for me. I'm just going to keep it the way it is on my MetaMask. So that's where I, I stand on that one. I mean, I guess I could just throw 60 Jewel over there and I'd cover four teams with the level up 
with the experience power up, which is the most important one for this. Honestly, you want that bonus XP on everything because it applies to the hunts. I don't care if you got a miner, get a mythic pet on it. Put like a, a trait you don't like from one of the gardening or foraging or fishing and throw it on a miner and bada bing, you got a 20% XP boost from the rarity if it's mythic. Uh, and that's pretty huge. Like I, I got my shapeshifter here to level 20 this week. Big win for me on that, by the way. Yeah. Dex, I need to work on the dex. I got 64 Agi though. No stone either. Pretty amazing. Anyway, sorry, I digress. I digress. Love the shapeshifter. But I took the mythic pet I had on him off, and I put it onto one of my level 10, 11 archers, and it's just, the the XP difference is like staggering. You get so much more with it, especially if you're using the premium pet treat, that little extra 2% XP maxi over here. Uh, yeah, Rob Rose Punch, I think, is the forager who is now decked out with actually that mythic, because I wanted to get this 17 up to 20. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know if this trait's good. Oh, gray pet egg? Yeah, cool. I don't care. I'm using it totally for the XP bonus on the rarity of the card. Uh, and there's my yoked Bockler, by the way. And yes, he's got armor. And yes, he's got a core blade. You think, you think I'm slacking over here on these equipment? Not at all. Not at all. Check out this guy. Look what he's wearing. I got the plus 5% evasion. I, I want one that has more. Don't get me wrong. Plus 5% evasion with 64 agility. I mean, when you put, get him in game, it is like you have like close to 30 percent and then he has foresight so anyone who still doesn't want it to be nerfed i mean like go ahead cool with me eight eight more percent evasion yeah good luck overcoming that with uh dex greater crystals even so yeah uh really happy about that definitely armor up your heroes while playing there was some more things from the ama what was it oh Oh, this one was my favorite, actually. This one's mostly just a joke. But uh, there was a question about billboards or like advertisements in the game itself, like in the Coliseum or something. And uh, Hubert's response is that like you know there might be a place for them. It's all in the air. We don't know. Yada yada. Uh, but he, he mentioned something that I really enjoyed, which is he, that people don't really enjoy seeing ads and billboards uh, during real life sporting events either. But. But the statement also implied that he did like the sporting event itself, which is subsidized very heavily the existence of that whole, you know, pageantry with all of the people walking out and all of the uh, uh, drama and spectacle and the fact that you can get people who will dedicate their lives to playing a game uh, is all kind of subsidized by the fact that there is that abs ad space <laughs> inside the arena. That's a big part of it. So, and like all the other ads connected to it. So, I mean, I... Well, while you may not like the ads themselves, you do like the consequence of the ads, which is the high production value, high quality, highly competitive uh, entertainment and spectacle to really get, you know, enjoy the experience. So I think there's a give and take there, you know, uh, between an ideal situation and like, you know, the situation, the, the real, the empirical situation. So yeah. So yeah, those are my community notes in my AMA notes covered all of those pretty thoroughly. Brovia also had a pretty good stream with Hubert. Um, yeah, Hubert tackled some good questions in that one. And uh, that was the other team member interview this week. If there were any that I missed, you know, shout me out. Let me know. I, I don't remember them. Um, but yeah, that was it. So now let's talk about the game. So for leveling some heroes, right, I, I, I am working on these two archers. They are, you know, they're precious to me because I've dark summoned them and they have stones and that's Ingrid and Rar Dribbler, right? And so they were not level 13 when I started doing this. In fact, they were both 11 when I started doing this. So what I take is I take them and I, you know, my shapeshifter was like 18 when I started doing this. Now he's 20. And it's really nice. I take them, I just pair them with my shapeshifter. So they're really low level, but they're also strong for their level because of the stones that they have, because I built them for the tournament originally. And um, because they're so strong with the stones that they have, I am capable of just like tackling this higher average level by using my level 20 in there to bring everything up. And that gives them a lot more XP Oh, oops, I did that backwards. And they otherwise would have. 
So now let's go back to Archer and pick up Ingrid, Rar Dribbler. So yeah, there's the three of them. When I'm going up against the boards, I'm still rocking the plain old vanilla uh, build that I've been doing the whole time, multi-shot, um, the critical strike ability, flurry, rapid shot, and then small stun. Uh, I like, I still really like the rotation of, you know, just small stun, multi-shot, rapid shot, small stun, multi-shot, rapid shot. I hold the multi um, when I think there will be an upcoming opportunity for rapid shots. So say I say like we're four turns in and I a, I haven't seen a um, wild charge yet, I'll hold and just keep spamming multi-shot, honestly. Uh, so it's not bad in that regard. Boop, boop. So yeah, the, really I just gotta burn through this game, hopefully not lose, because sometimes I lose because I, I get overconfident and cocky, not gonna lie, it does. It does happen, ladies and gents, it, it does happen. But uh, the XP gain is really quite astounding. And the, the difference between my petless, now petless level 20 over here and the uh, two archers, I think really shows the disparity. Because I think really three games, I think in three or four games without, a, like with the, a pet, like a decent pet, I think these guys have legendaries on them. Uh, in three or four games with a pet, you make up an extra whole game worth of XP, it kind of looks like. It's really, really cool. And since you can get two a day, basically you're getting an extra game every other day of XP from having that pet. And I think, yeah, so, because you get, I get 22% from using the premium tree with the Mythic, and I think these guys are only getting legendary, so it's probably 18%, not 22. But still, it's quite good. Got, uh, wow, both of the nuzzles out there. Really fortunate, now I can just start Kind of wailing away. See, went from small stone into multi shot now with both archers. Keeping it simple. Stupid. I'm just going to spread damage now since I'm probably about to drop two rapid shots, unless we get a wild charge charging up now, which we probably won't. I'm thinking we'll get a taunt. There we go. Taunt it is. And now my, my shapeshifter can just start beating on the brat in the back, which is the big boar. Oops, hit the X. Don't want to do that. How do you like this Doug Hype Vizzy with the bloater head combo? It's like it's like me and Doug in one hero. That's kind of a vile amalgamation to imagine. Ugh. I'm sorry I said that. Get that image out of your head. I'm sorry I said that, everyone. I'm sorry I said that. Chat, how's it going? Stick says my child is asleep, wife is away, I shall hunt the night away. Dude, very, very same similar. My guinea pigs are asleep and my wife is away. That's kind of wild that we're having like the same exact day. Kind of wild now that you mention it. Uh, so this is unfortunate because I do need to use a potion on her. I can probably do it with my shapeshifter. So we are just going to drop two more multi shots into the front bore, prep ourselves to use rapid shot on the next turn where we can catch Mama while she's exhausted if we're lucky with a daze. And what are these average level boars at? I didn't even look. We got 16 boars, so it's three levels above both of these archers. Gonna be a hefty XP bonus because of that fact. Now, do I risk it and heal the archer? I think so. 629 health still left on the shapeshifter. I did use rapid shot with you. So you're gonna just drop small stone. You keep doing the rotation. Not bad. Not bad result there. Woo, yeah, stun. That's unfortunate because that's the person I was setting up for the combo. But as long as I don't miss here. Nice crit. Bad, bad time to crit, but it's all right. It's all right. I accept these things. They happen. One more turn on headbutt. If I can get you down, I shouldn't have to worry about the health of either of the archers anymore. Let's see how this goes. 129, no problem. Ooh, nice. Nice job not getting hit by that. So we'll go ahead and just try for the rapid shot. Maybe we get the crit. We do? Do we get the daze? No daze. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, so now the real question is, do I go for rapid shot again? I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Roll the dice. Let's roll and see what happens. Oh, no days again. Oh, I got the days. I got the days. So I should be good. Should be good on this one. 
to finish out the baby boar. Oh, the big miss. He's going to cast nose. Oh, no, not quite yet. Oh, but the big miss cost me an archer. Cost me an archer. Oh, no, you guys. It's all falling apart. Small stone. Small stone, don't fail me now. Oh, it's thinking. It's thinking. You going to make me refresh on stream game? Come now. It's hardly like you. Oh, got to do it. That's unfortunate. That doesn't happen very often. All right, where were we? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. You're dead. Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, I, I killed the baby finally with the small stone. I will just take a health pot. Why risk it? There we go. Created me, see? Good thing I did that. Otherwise, I'd be dead right now. Otherwise, I would be dead right now, chat. You can do four hunts at a time and spend the rest of the time contributing to hero inflation. No, Dag, see, you might be able to do that. I actually cannot. I would lose so many more games than I already do from inattention and, like, taunting people that I didn't intend to taunt, hitting the wrong target. Um, I am just so not good at splitting my attention like that and multi-boxing, but I respect you for doing it. I don't think it's like cheating. I think it's like, yeah, power to you. I'm just not going to do it myself. I have not tried the toughness potion yet, Worm, at all. At all. Have you tried it? Oh, Eric says it's good. That's good. All right, maybe I should try it sometime. That actually seems fun. I, I honestly, I only stick to the health vials and the anti-blind potions. They're all I use. I have one, like, loadout that has a swiftness potion because I've used it in, like, one or two games to test it out, but I haven't tested anything else, really. Excuse me. So now what I do is I take the same dudes, right? I clicked through that XP way too fast. God damn it. God damn it. Can I rewind my own stream? No. Um, now what I do is I take the same dudes though, and I just run them right back on the box. So those that I care about the most just get done first, and, let, and they get all their XPs. So sad I just burned through the XP. That was so fast. Oh, the commentating's different though, because I just have to state what's going on in front of my eyes. I don't have to actually make the decisions. But check out Eudestra Wintersmirk here. So she is a level 15 summon, cut the six tier bonus with two archers that I had at 15. Both of them dex highest stats, so that's plus one in the primary, plus one or plus one to the points, plus one in the primary, and plus two in the secondary times two. So a lot there, and then I put a normal finesse stone. Hit the blue dex at 22 on level one. Just summoned her before stream. Very pleased about that, ladies and gentlemen. Very pleased about that. To be completely honest with you, oh, Udestra is like. Mm. The highest one I've hit so far off of a normal summon with a pair of level 15s, or highest rarity, I should say, that I've hit on a normal summon with a pair of 15s is that rare right there. I'm really excited to slowly level her up. She'll be getting a pet here. Oh, she might already have a pet, but it's a rare. Nothing nothing really too special. Then, so, shapeshifter, and then let's go back to my archers. Yeah, rar, dribble, you go in the middle. And for this one, what I like to do as I do this, uh, it's always tough. It's like, do I keep one person with the chance to daze? I, I like doing it. Yeah, I like to split them but lately. I'm not fully sold on whether I, I love it, but this is what I've been doing lately. Is I put one on, you know, three on the left with small stone, like I was just doing in the boars, and then I do one with piercing. Uh, shot, piercing arrow, and small stone, but still keeping the flurry because you get pierce in like all of these abilities. Or maybe, yeah, this one too, and in this one. So like, I'm not gonna take this shitty strength and and add a little bit more pierce. I'm just gonna make that pierce that the ability gives me have a bunch of critical strike chance. 
Yeah. See, so that's my thinking there. Sup, dude? Says Apex. Dags has got to go. Catch you in the morning on the replay. Please leave a comment when you come back, Dags. Let me know what you think of the show. And for anyone here, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. All right, got that out of the way. Ethereum Network, Metis, Hercules, Vitalik, um, Vitalik's mom, Ethereum, SEC, Scandal, Controversy. There we go. I got some good SEO there in the middle. Yeah, baby. No, uh, so the, that's that's the trick, though, guys. So this is my my leveling up the lower guys. I get a nice little average 16 here, using my 20 with some 13s. This, I I do lose the box uh, not infrequently with this uh, setup because you know I don't really have very much utility. That was a nice opening, though. Very lucky for me. Um, so much so that I think I'm actually just gonna play straight into the multi shot. Yeah, this is going exceedingly well in the opening, which means I'm going to get some seriously messed up RNG shortly. Probably like two, three turn confuses off of a cheap. There's one. There's one. <laughs> oh, I hate three turn confuses. It's like, that is so long, dudes. All right. Oh, and an immediate slam. Hmm. Interesting. If you're not stunned, I'm kind of stoked. Because I missed the confuse attempt. All right. I think I'm going to go for the poison. Try to get some damage on the back, guys. Amazing. It went off. Great. Great confusion result. Let's get this daze. Let's get really lucky, Rarty. Let's do it. Ooh! No dazes, but did do some solid, solid damage. Uh, I think here, I gotta go for this heal. She's just too exposed, but in a way, so is my Shapey. But he's got some time till the big bird hits. Mm, blinded immediately. Okay, okay. Oh, the self cleanse. Wow, love it. Love to see it. Totally deserved, by the way, and, uh, you know, fair to get that self-cleanse. This is a really nice RNG game for me. And gonna lie. Yes. Get a little leapfrog in there. I can use the anti-blind potion. And then I'll also be able to heal myself. Yeah. We're going full biscuit. Kill it. Yes, what a time to crit. Wow, what a really lucky stream of events for me. Um, all right. We're gonna use the piercing shot. 132, she got 300 left. Yeah, you just get that basic attack. Please get a hit, please get a hit. 184 left. All right, all right. Not gonna get the immediate kill. So she's gonna revive the eggs. Oh, but it was damn close at 16. <clears throat> but now I have the chance to just wipe her out. There it is. And now let's do a small stone on the eggs. See what RNG grants us. All right, I can I can settle for that. And now rapid shot is up for combo. Nice, both eggs at like half health and they haven't started charging yet. 100% hit with the shapeshifter, no problem. This time I won't click through the XP so fast so we can compare it. Because that was the whole point of doing this exercise. Whole point of it. Tempting. Far better to just do this, I think. All right, there we go, one down. I just gotta hope she doesn't miss one of these arrows. Crit 105, all right, Shapeshifter, you should be able to close it out with a 100% hit rate right here. No problemo. Easy wins. 
That was really nice RNG. I'll accept that all day. All right, not gonna click through the hunt rewards. Hands off the mouse. Hands off the mouse. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and bloaters, beeves, ragweeds, all involved, thank you for coming and spending your Wednesday evening or morning, wherever you may be, with me here in my office. All right. Hold the phone. So they're getting, this one's getting like 200 more XP than the shapeshifter. Right? And it's uh, with a, yeah, that's a legendary pet, 16%. Quick study gives you another 15%. And then the premium treat for an extra two on top. So I'm looking at 33%. The base XP 1,100 from doing a level 16 fight. And she's getting 1,463. So that 363, I mean, you go three games and you're getting, you're getting an extra game in over not having those bonuses. This one only has a rare pet. That's the disparity there. Okay, 12% bonus XP on the other one there and no pet as you can see no pet here and i actually think i even turned off quick study for him but no he has a bonus of some kind because 1265 that's not the base either it's just that's odd that it's not showing premium treats add up yeah i i always use premium that's i think it's the call um so in addition to that squad with those two archers i really want to level up I'm also working on, let's reset you completely, see what I got. I'm also working on leveling up just a, a couple basic warriors and archers that are already high level, but these are ones that have existed for a long time. You know, you see these four and five digit crystal veil numbers on these two. Um, right, though this one happens to have had a lesser vigor stone on it. Good on me for whenever I did that one. Um, this one, as you can see, no stone, but they're, they're the best I got. There's also one more warrior who I really love, showed him to you earlier. It's Robbie. You guys know Robbie. So we'll get Robbie Rose Punch up there. And so this is a team of all 17s. Now I think I've heard some people saying is that like, oh, it's harder as you get to the higher levels. And I actually like have the exact opposite experience when I play. Um, so just food for thought. I just mentioned it, not really for any reason. So what I can do is uh, the 17, 17, 17. So Kathy's, she sucks. She's burning once she gets to 20. That's Kathy's. That's like her fate. Yeah, she also has a lesser vigor. She's got the explosion, but like 38 decks at 17. Mm, burn. But I'm going to get her to 20 first. And um, in that time, you know, hopefully I can get a few luck points. So that second point goes into luck. Uh, I just gotta beat out Vit and Strength, which is gonna be tough, admittedly, with that Dark Knight subby. 21% st Strength on the level up. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, but Robbie here is gonna be real close to leveling after we finish out these games. So with my level 15s, I am typically going Hunter's Mark. I really like it uh, for the decreasing evasion on the opponent, especially against the box when they you know if you just play around uh, mighty gust when she does the added 10% evasion for the whole team uh, if you have one archer or you know even if you want to fully negate it you can use two of these hunters marks and it negates that buff completely and a lot of people complain about missing abilities all the time that is you know I think a I would, I would argue that probably a, a disproportionate number of like those critical misses at the really bad times are, are happening when they do have that evasion buff because that's what it's meant to do. And um, it's something that you have to pay attention to. And I think the, uh, Hunter's Mark provides a really good way to address it. I don't have it on this warrior right now, but War Cry, if you have a high strength S score, um, also mitigates it because it improves your own accuracy. And uh, as we know from the recent AMAs, like, and you know from the docs I think before, but accuracy and evasion kind of like play off each other to where if you get over 100% accuracy, you start eating into your opponent's evasion kind of situation. Good starting hit from my, uh, my Doug Hype Vizied out on Youthe to begin the game. Anuthi, I don't know what to call her. I just call her Anuthi. I feel like that's totally wrong though. Like, like so far off. I use final blow on the warriors because 
It's gotten me some cheeky W's against the Demon Box. That's like a, one of my favorite time to use it as just like a Hail Mary. If I miss this, I lose. If I don't, I win kind of situation. The, the most disappointing experience I've ever had doing that was when I, I hit it, but it got blocked. So it didn't bring him below 10% health, so he didn't die. I was like, oh, I didn't factor that one in to how I'd feel emotionally when I played. Um, but I, I use it also because uh, the cleave really feels disappointing, especially when you're closing out a game. To me, like, a, like you can't use the highest damage warrior. Oh, bad miss there. Three misses. Jesus. Um, you can't use your warrior's most damaging ability to close out the game. And I really like using Rapid Onslaught. This guy's got a summoner subclass, so he's actually got decent um, whiz and int for not having any points put into him. Uh, and his mana is at 132. I like using him a lot for that reason, but you're gonna need to take a health potion here, bud um, Or should I do the damage and have one of the archers give you a health potion there, bud? What do you think? Yeah, we'll do that We'll do that. So this is with the gore sword We like the sword 252 and a miss that sounds right. Oh the change I meant to talk about the change I'll do that after this game before I start the uh, next one I think you can safely, now you should use the potion. Because you leapfrog there. So she's leapfrogging the orange boar. Bang. I'm getting the charge up. Ooh, with the charge up, I actually think I don't move anyone here. I think I just go for a normal basic attack whack. Robbie's kind of still in danger though, if he gets critted. We'll just have to play that one by ear though. We're gonna keep the rapid shot combo alive for the next turn. Hopefully Kaithi's here, my common, meant for the pit, pit bound. Totally non-functional hero. Hopefully she doesn't get stunned. 95-85, decent result on the small stone. Oh, Kaithi's is done, she's done for. Stunned. Of course you got stunned. Oh, but you got the self-cleanse. Wow. Wow. Kaithis. Let's get that crit on the mall of war. Send her back. Send her packing. Oh, critting the front board though, I will accept. I will accept that as a valid exchange. I'm cool with it. Do I heal her? Am I worried the boar is gonna kill her? It has headbutt, so even if I move positions. That might be problematic. I think the conservative move here is to heal Rob. Unfortunate as it may be, and much as it pains me to do. And you headbutt the front one. That's okay. That's okay. We should still be able to get this. Uh, let's see here. I have taunt, so if, if I don't, it's not the end of the world, actually. Yeah, let's see what this does. 52% uh, chance? We're going for it. Oh, not quite. Not quite. But does do enough damage where I should be able to finish him with a multi-shot unless I get bad miss here. So, fingers crossed. No misses, no misses, no misses, no misses. Yeah. There we go. Alright. How many bleed stacks do I have? Two. Um, yeah, we'll just use a potion. Using a potion right after rapid onslaught. I really like doing it. Or this is that was final blow. I guess I still have rapid onslaught. But regardless, using a potion right after rapid onslaught is fun because it's like taking some of your uh, cooldown off because you get the initiative back, and uh, it does have that two turn cooldown. I don't know. I, it just feels good whenever I do it, especially if I can get a leapfrog in it. Jared, Jared's in the chat. What's up, Mythic Squad? Mythic Vibes are in the chat. We got Starbuck as well. Doctor J. Ryder, Umar, Apex, Shoes My Girlfriend Wears, Toon Fed, Jeremy, Eric, what in the DFK is this, Kevin Porter, oh and so many more, Wag Me, formerly Dags, Double A Free, how are you all doing and welcome, welcome one and all to Office Hours. Uh, I think KP's going live with Brovia tonight at, at 8.30, so even though my wife's out of town I probably won't like push it, you know, for, uh, for their sake, but... Um, yeah, I might get try to get some streaming in while she's gone over the weekend since, you know, I won't be making dinner for her. I can just eat bachelor food like Taco Bell and such. You know, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. 
Uh, I can't wait for the game where like it's a draw because one player dies to the retaliate of a, like a warrior. 355 crit there. Oh, with the rapid onslaught. I love using rapid onslaught. It is so nice. Endurance equals self cleanse slash block. That is correct. I'm pretty sure on the block and I'm 100% sure on self cleanse. And yeah, this is another one in the history books with a dead archer. Just Kaithi's laying there. See, I told you, she's, she's pit worthy, pit bound. She's going to die. Yeah. Like laser, laser sound, laser sound. NFTs make money. So this is a level 17 average. So it's one higher average than my level 13 guys were doing. No, I don't know if I'll go all the way to 1130 mega. I just meant like I'm definitely stopping before then. You know, because that's when I think KP goes live on his channel. 1507 with the mythic pet. 1500 on a base XP of 1100. Like, that is really good. That is really a lot faster. <laughs> that is a lot faster. Jim, Jim Curry wants double priest action. He's like asking me to use my worst heroes. Uh, how you guys doing, Jared? Oh, nice to see you. Ben is calling you. I got you. Gotta you gotta heed the call when it when it does call. You gotta heed it. Okay, wait. What was it that I wanted to discuss briefly? It was, in fact, this game update. So right here, rapid onslaught now deals minus twenty percent damage overall, regardless of how many successful hits. And before, what it did was each successful hit reduced your damage of your next one by 20%. So if your hero hit four attacks, what happened before was it would go 100%, 80%, 60%, 40%. And now what it does is it goes 80, 80, 80, 80. And this is actually like a really, really sneaky buff, but good change in my opinion. So before what would happen is like there's four, you know, possible outcomes here. It's you hit one and you miss the other three. In which case, this is a nerf. If you, if in the weakest situation for the ability where you only hit one of the four attacks, it's a very slight nerf. Yeah. But like, that's already your worst outcome anyway. It's, it's, you're not going to really feel it as much, I don't think. Um, if you hit two attacks, it is also a slight nerf, but you know, proportionally a smaller nerf than if you hit one attack. Because you, you do get the full 80% compared to the, between the change after, or before and after the change. It was 80% in that situation both times. If you hit three attacks, it balances out to where the 20% you lost on the front end, you're getting back on the third hit. And it's a 20% buff if you hit all four attacks. So on those really lucky hits, where you're hitting all four of those basic attack in, attacks in a row. And when I say lucky, I mean like that you've built your hero into decks and he has a 90% hit rate. Then you get the combo. So you're sitting at like almost 100. You got the evasion on the other guys boosting your hit rate. So you're hitting four on purpose every time that you're, you're getting more damage out of that one. And then also with how crits play into it, like a crit on a 40% damage or a 60% damage is going to be a lot less impactful than a crit on an 80% damage. So now if it crits at any point, it's going to be better than before unless it's the very first hit that crits, right? So I think that's overall, you get two situations there where crits are better and one, you know, your best outcome is better. Your worst outcome is a little tiny bit worse. I think it's a great change. I love playing with it. Uh, it really made Rapid Onslaught feel a lot more consistent in its damage, in my opinion. So that's why I wanted to mention that one now let's go take our 17s over to the mother cluckers right so like i just do both teams at once and then both of the hunts and then they're good to go which which one did i use i use anuthi i use keithies and then warrior is my boy rob like i got anuthi keithies and rob <laughs> like who named this team <laughs> wasn't me Although I, I did summon all three of these heroes, so I guess it was me. Rob is an OG jewel, you see that? You see that? OG Serendale hero right here. Yeah, baby. Woo! All right, we'll put you in the front. 
and then for, uh, archers only apply there we go you you uh yeah putting anuthi in the middle because she has more health you've got low decks so here's where i'm kind of torn yeah i think i give you the piercing ones you've got lower luck than Kaithi's does but this also plays off luck yeah okay so we're gonna go with this setup so you see I did that archer split again and I am using evasion on both of them um, I've been taking gladiator over the lifesteal but I could be I could be persuaded on the lifesteal on the warrior at the tier 2 taunt is pretty essential to my play there's so many games that I've won just because I was able to taunt the bird after it hatched and then like I pass both of my other heroes turns hit it again with the warrior because the taunt can't break and then pass again so like I get a, a free couple hits because of it and then like finish I can finish him out with the other two before it turns into a demon that's happened to me a ton of times taunt has saved me so many times I love it um, I have a hard time going into this fight without it blinded on the first turn that's always bodes very well I had a good good opportunity to show off my leapfrogging and I'm obsessed with saying it. I'm gonna leapfrog from there up to here because it's 500, it's gonna be sweet. Gonna be sweet. Let's risk it. I'm risking it. If I crit the back, I'd be kind of annoyed. But yeah, it didn't happen, critted the front, nice. Nice, anti-blind myself. Let's see how I, oh yeah, and I go again. Boom. I love doing that. I love leapfrogging. It's just like, yeah, you had something on me, but you got nothing now. Say you use blinding winds against me and you blinded me, that's what I would do to you. You wouldn't even get a turn off me. Yeah. Oh, tr three turn confused. On my, so this is where it gets scary because he's got a basic attack on him. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop the bleeds, try to get Mombok bleeding. No dice, oh yeah, dice on the bleeds, there we go. And you can start prepping a multi-shot. I got 1574. We'll just call it 400 health. I can't get below without channeling the demons. Uh-huh. So we're going to try to have you give yourself a health potion. No, we're going to try to have you use your rapid onslaught. Roll the dice. I'm confused anyway. Yeah, he does it. Big hit. 208 and 136. Jeez. What is damage? Another three turn confused. And a crit. They're paying me back in kind this time with the RNGs. Well, slam. All right, I think Anuthi's dead. Oof, very close. Uh, oh, you're stunned. You have, you have your combo up. All right, days on the front mom or killing a back one would be cool. All right, got a kill. Got one of them. All right, now I can just, hmm. He's still confused. I'm so scared he's gonna attack Anuthi and just kill her. Oh, that was frightening. <laughs> Can you hit this bleed? That would be cool if you hit the back one. Basic attack. Oh, oh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> So this should kill the back block if it applies the damage over time effect to it. And then it would also give me plus damage against the mom block trying to close her out in this turn uh, before she can cast lay egg. It did resist though. So that, I'm screwed I think. I think I just lost. Oh, big block, big block. Cheap, no no additional, I'm still confused from the last cheaps. All right, all right, all right. Still confused, gotta go for it though. Risking it for the, oh, it's, it's two homies. No! It's all falling apart, guys. I don't think I can get the kill anymore. So really, I just want to go for this heal. Please use the health file, yeah, there we go. And then I will have you 
use a health file on her. We haven't committed yet. We still have 89 damage to 400. So yeah, she's going to take this dot. Basically, I have to start after her next turn on this kill run, which is fine because Baby Bok back here has only got 33 health, which will make it 27 now. You have cheap on you. I'm just going to go piercing arrow into the Mom Bok. There we go. Now hit. There we go, 143, 165 left. I'm tempted to go small stone, but I think multi-shot is the better call. Small stone is the better call. I could end the game right now. No, I can't, but nice. Got the, got the mom block with it though. That was huge. All right, piercing arrow, 223 crit. And we have the rapid onslaught coming up, but also rapid shot. There's no way this egg is hatching, and it's done. Woo! Those three turn confuses, man. They really get me. Drive me crazy. Not a PJ hero, though. Six hundred. Ah, no, it isn't. I have one PJ hero, and it's a piece of ace. It's a piece of ace. I'm not gonna lie to you at all, Worm. It is like hot, hot garbage. Very hot. Oh, I got the buddy years. Oh yeah. 1575 XP on this one. Base 1150 with the level 17 average. You'll love to see all that XP. Like, that's so much. Let's open you up. Your hero details. You've only got 2,200 something. Hard to read those small letters, but only 2,000 left. You know, he's going to be probably there for the... Uh, like before my next hunts tomorrow, maybe even if I if I were just like give him a stamp pot and let the send him on a foraging quest. All right, who should I try next? Let's reset. I do like all right, Chioli. All right, this is a good team that I like a lot here. So this is a sp split stagger with the high levels. I'm going uh, Benny, who's level 17, my warrior up here, with Chiol, who is a 16 archer, leggy, giant slayer, no stone. Um, yeah. Yeah, not the super greatest decks, but I kind of pumped her Agi up, and I really like it. I like playing with her. Got to get her Vit numbers up though. Got to get her decks up, and her luck. So her Agi has been pumped enough. And then Ront, who was absolutely garbage at level 12, but has recovered to usable. He had like 11 decks because I was just pumping endurance, as you can see, with 41 endurance, 36 vitality, 32 strength. He had no dexterity whatsoever. Uh, so he's getting there. He's almost recovered. Thankfully, he's mythic. He gets those, like, bonus rolls. His level 15 was huge for Ront. It was absolutely huge for him. And there we go. Let's just go ahead and fire this one up. Why do I keep doing the mad boar hunts? I'll do the mad boar hunts because I really want more axes. I really want more of the weapons. Why do I keep doing the Bach hunts? I also want to take a chance for the Excalibur. I've got a yoked Bachler. I could use a second one. That would be cool. Um, if anyone knows what to sell them for, I haven't sold mine just because I haven't seen any on the market. And so I assume it must be priceless, like the Mona Lisa, obviously. A piece of art such as that. Ah, must be priceless. Oh, I am I'm really on fire. fire. All right. So this one, we're gonna start off as usual with my small stone multi-rapid um, rotation. Ooh, he got a block, so he got a little initiative there. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. I'll take it back. It was just a visual glitch in my eyeballs, I think. We're going to get this Daze Resistance up early, and then let's check out this axe. Let's see what's happening here. Gladiator Strike. Let's go. The Oh, Gladiator Strike feels so good with the axe. 178 without even critting. Love it. Love it, darling. Give me more of that. Oh, honestly, I think Gladiator Strike gets me more hype with the axe than Rapid Onslaught even does. I might try to build into some of those lifesteal builds with it and see if some of those big one-hit wonders feel really awesome with the axe. But using Rapid Onslaught doesn't feel bad. Don't get me wrong. I'll show you here in a second. It is so fun. Uh, try to get some damage onto the 
big bore. Hey, nice. Hit the 136. Not actually that great. Um, but hey, you know, damage it still is. Archer got moved all the way to the front. That's super fun. 103 to 448. Like, could hypothetically kill with a couple crits. 402 damage. It's so ridiculous. Oh my god. I love that, that weapon. I bought two of them. I bought two of them. Like I, I heard Fex talking on ADFK, and I just went and bought two before the like before he even finished the topic. I bought two of them. <laughs> I also picked up a wand. So I was like, oh, I'm just doing them. I will get them. I've gotten like multiple charges mass. I've gotten every piece of every drop except for uh, Excalibur, the medium armor in the box for some reason, and the pa the secondhand pants. Those are the only things I've not gotten. Uh, Germ Curry asked if I'm not a fan of Punish with the Axe. Germ, I just haven't tried it yet. I got them like, like two nights ago. And um, this is just the build I always play with my Warriors. I don't typically go build into Punish because I really like Rapid Onslaught. I just like the rotational play of, you know, you do it, you, you have your cooldown turn to either use a potion or do something else, and then you go back into Gladiator Strike Rapid Onslaught. But I do like Punish with um, the... I think I'll like it even more when we have a caster in the game and PvP's out because you can use the punish to set up the war cry for the silence and that's gonna feel really good when you silence the enemy team's caster. Uh, I, but I will, I mean, I'll try it. I have another warrior with the axe. I'll try it in my next round of games tonight. Uh, that sounds perfect. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch you. I don't love it, but I'm gonna do it. I can't use the rapid shot because that's going to kill the front one. It's the way RNG works. All three of the abilities would simply hit the front one. See, here I'm using the rapid onslaught cooldown turn, pop a potion, and I get a leapfrog. Leapfrogging this baby. Satisfies all of my goals. Getting turn advantage, getting health advantage, and using up the cooldown turn. That is just mm, perfection. Great opportunity to use a potion. Daze is unfortunate there but I still have the chance to get the day's resist up before the charge. Uh, we're gonna go, actually. Contrary to my normal plan, we're gonna drop small stone here. Yeah, sad that the first one created and the second one didn't, but say la vie, these things happen. I bet final blow is absurd with this. Oh, big miss, big miss out of Benny. It's all right though. Benny's still gonna do me good. Let's see here, big hit. Oh, big miss, big miss out of Ront. Ben and Ron and Jill, who got stunned and is about to get headbutted? No, but might be now about to get headbutted. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Kill it, kill it. Hit it, Benny. Oh, 406 again, that's, the, that's that consistency. Mm. Got to go for the Mighty Strike to hope for the one shot. Oh, and it hits. Wow, beautiful. So now this gives me an opportunity to try for a uh, rapid shot. Get that daze. Get that daze. Crits? No daze. No daze on the crit. Um, we're going to go for the basic attack. Even the basic attacks feel good at this thing. 110 to 130. Hata! Oh, so much damage. I love it. I love doing the damage. You're taking 37 damage, you're losing a lot. I think you heal yourself. Do I leap? Yeah, I do. Sweet. And then... Um, yeah, I think you just do two multi-shots then a rapid shot. That's fine with me. 125. Let's see if I can daze you. Dazing would be good. Could get me two extra turn advantage there. Did in fact do that. And now I have this chance to just whack him. 174 with the bleed. Oh. I'm gonna YOLO go for the crit to finish the game now. We'll just we'll just beat him now. Beat him now. Oh, it didn't work. Didn't work. But did do damage. We are getting the damage done. Getting the damage done and done to him good. Uh huh. Not enough mana. You can just basic attack. This one's a shoe in for the win. Alrighty. 
We still here? We still here? Sticks, you're still here, yeah. I'm still here, are you still here? Axes, bows, staff, blades. Tavern Tales is back, welcome Tavern Tales. Yeah, let's see, I guess I'm betting I get another axe right now. Or I get the speed pants. Wouldn't make me mad. Wouldn't make me mad at all. To get the speed pants, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Got a YouTube notification. What's going on with that? My phone doesn't recognize me and my sunglasses won't open up. Yeah, oh, yeah, confirmed. KP is on in half an hour. And he's got Bolon on tonight? Oh, yo. That's pretty cool. Bunny ears. Nice. So you see, these guys had the lower average level of 16, because it went 16, 15, 17, and none of them have uh, mythic pets. So we got 1396 here with quick study, and then 16 rarity from the legendary. He only has a common pet. And he has no pet? Oh yeah, he's a miner. So I gotta get a mythic pet and put it on Ront, because I do want to level Ront up faster. So yeah, I gotta take my own advice. This is good. This is good. All right, now let's go ahead. You want me to try punish? I'll try punish. And then I'll call it after that game. So, uh, 16, what can we put with 16? 14, 15, 16. Hmm. 14, 16. I don't really like either of those warriors for their health is my problem I'm having there. Um, yeah, Sinead, you'll do, I guess. Okie dokie, and then we'll change my warrior build here to punish, right? And I need to be bleeding, so I want gladiator strike, I assume. I actually might want to switch you up too, to, uh, not that part, but to have the bleed. And then might as well go piercing shot if I'm doing that. Um. I like that. We're gonna go with that build. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go with that build. All right, and then uh, you, let's just give you the bloodthirst or do, yeah. Yeah, bloodthirst, brutal rend. Let's just go all the way right side. How does that sound? Life skill, bleeding, deal additional damage. Yeah, blood gains, yeah, okay. And then I want, I want gladiator strike still because I want to set up my own bleeds with him. Okay, and then you're level 14. Yeah, you're cool with all that. 14, 15, 16, average level 15, good to go, let's do it. Good night, says someone, making bacon. Boar slaughtering continues, says KP. He is in here now, I don't know if he heard me before, but he's going on at 8.30 with bowl on, looks like. I just got the notification, exciting stuff. I'm gonna do this game, testing out the build. Thanks to Germ Curry, thank you for the suggestion. I'm excited to give it a whirl. I actually hadn't even thought of giving other builds a whirl with the ax, so. Thank you for, you know, inspiring me on that one, because I'm, I'm excited to see this one through. All right. Let's get that bleed on the first one, shall we? And just light him up with a punish off the rip. See what it does. Start bleeding. Oh, it did. It did. Just to be safe. Just being safe here. Taunted the mama boar. All right. Punish. Two thirty-four, seventy-seven percent hit chance. Oh, two fifty-five is pretty good. Didn't need the taunt, but that is still like nice. That speed on Kazor is so slow. Um, hmm. I think, yeah, we're just gonna drop a hit right into you with this one. See how low we can get you. 262. There is, in fact, a snowball's chance in hell that I get this kill right now. Pretty small snowball, though. We're gonna give it a try. Oh, so close. So close that it's gonna die to the bleed. This I did not think this through. 
Uh, I did not think this through, ladies and gentlemen, that I, I, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Because I can't, I'm not gonna be able to taunt him again. Nope. There's one. I need you to self cleanse on your next turn, bud. Alright, can you do that for me? Oh, no, you got the heal. Thank God. Alright, I forgot about the heal there for a second. I was so panicked. I'm gonna lose everything. Mm hmm. We'll do you charging up that one at the middle. Wild charge incoming or taunt? Which one is it? Let's see. Big hit. Normal hit. Alright. Ooh, you're getting beat up, Sinead. Not your best day. And then you go ahead and set up your basic attack for the bleed. 107. Yeah, dagger for the thief does inflict. The, it's like the how the warrior basic uh, mace here has the chance of days. I'm pretty stoked about that. The thief bleed. Just I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that the basic ass weapons have some some cool stuff going on with them. I honestly almost want to use a potion on you again. That's how pathetic you are. Sinead rain down. She she's I don't even think she's gonna make it to 20 before she burns. She's probably only gonna make it to 15. Because she's 14 now. I think I've been waiting for 15. That level 15 three tiers bonus feels so good, you guys. It is like chef's kiss, aromatic herbs and spices. All the good things. Oh, big crit there. Holy shit, Gladiator Strike with the one shot from 220. Wow. I'm tempted to keep Sinead alive now. Let's do it. Just don't, please don't interrupt the archer. Fuck. <laughs> interrupt the archer. It's great. It's great. It's great, guys. Oh my god, it's great, you guys. It's so god, it's so good. Wow, I think I just lost that game, but not because of K's work. I mean, I will be honest with you, Cubius, he, he exists solely to summon a couple times before he gets pitted, and Sinead, like, to level up one more time before she gets pitted, so just bear that in mind. Punish, or... Brutal Ren. I'm going to try Brutal Ren, because I haven't tried that one yet. We got the days on him. Ooh. I think Brutal Ren maybe only matters if they are, um... Bleeding, now that I think about it. But oh well. Block for 51. Now Sinead dies. There it is. And you come off of Exhaust. And Kazor goes down with the axe, just so I can get a good clip of it for later, maybe in a video. I will just let Kazor die with the axe in hand. Uh, yeah, get this kill, die to the rampage. That's good clips. There we go. Oh, 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 and he's down. He's down. It is a gentleman. Oh. Wow. Well, all right, on that note. I think uh, I'm going to start wrapping up show here, but I do want to remind you all that this has been a good episode of Office Hours, I think, maybe. Maybe not the best one, but I covered a lot of topics. Um, you know, I'm not a fan of gating heroes at a certain level for playing a hot like, you know, a certain number of times. I don't actually think that helps you pitch it, you know. Uh, on that note, though, back, got a yeah, keep it mythic. If you want to hang out, have a good time, and just want Discord's a place to be. I talked to Jeremy. We are going to start, you know, planning to get some fun fights going. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to try to get one going while my wife is out of town. Got too much DS, can't be depressed. But yeah, hero hit level five. Now he's yeah, shout out to everyone. But I'll stick with you, baby, like a poor little F. Shout out to the Beeve, Mosh, Starbuck, Ryder, Rubido, Skiller, B E Z A L P, Crypto Baby H, Ogre, uh, Iron Belly, uh, so many more people. Hope, uh, DFK Djan, uh, it's like all, all sorts of Lily, uh, so many people. Wow, so many people are in the squad. It's hard to keep up with. It's just we got we got so many champions. And, and I mean, and, I had like and all I had unlimited like are just mythic babies. <laughs> Squad, the game is good. The